Texas Tech is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 35. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 35. Got a man, watch out here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. As you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the sight of this defense down. Great concentration to pull it in. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. Number four makes the tackle. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Green nine, green nine. Blue Motion. 20. Motion. You got it. Caught out in the open. Out of bounds at the nine. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He gets out to about the six-yard line. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. Touchdown, Knights. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 31. Even though 
didn't sack him. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he's taken down at the 44. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. Passes left, going the other way. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. I just don't think he saw the defenders, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First and 10, ball on the 18. Central Florida is up by a touchdown. Inside the 10. Gains his way to the seven yard line. Call the game of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Double tight. Go down, go down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Green nine, green nine. Yellow three. Pass, 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 pass. Tackle made right around the four yard line. Just inside the five. It's second down. Touchdown, UCF! That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Makes it out to about the 39. He's under pressure, and he hits him hard at the 33. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He's got it with room to run. That's a great tackle at the 48. That's a game number 10. He's into the open field. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. and taken down. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Brought down around the 20-yard line. There's 
the strike complete. And he's tackled right away. And we've reached the end of one. 14 0, Knights. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mike 41. You've got to wedge that, huh? Hey, He's scrambling. Back to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Central Florida is up a score. And he's level at the 26. Second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Tackle at the 27 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick strike and he drops it. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver's getting up from that hit. That's a big hit by the defender. The quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken off. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And this one is a beauty. Gets to about the 34-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense and put the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. And he's going to come up with a sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Mike 41. You've got to wedge that, huh? <laughs> And he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And that'll be three and out. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to midfield, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Central Florida, up seven points. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. From the 47-yard line, second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go! 
Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And they make the stop at the 27. First and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, watch number five, number five. Black five, five black five. Excellent. Excellent open field tackle. That's a good one. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Hand off inside, and he tackles him hard at the nine yard line. Him down in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. Central Florida is up seven. And they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Central Florida is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he's hammered down. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Throws out and through his hands. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 22. Fires out to his wideout, and he is drilled at the 31-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. down around the 28-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The Knights came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong, but the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big playability. Steps out of bounds at the 41. Makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. He's taken down at the 49. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. 
passes it and it's picked out of the sky. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet, sprinting on that field, and you're ready to go. Let's go, D. Set, down. Blue for And down he goes at about the 49. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. The Red Raiders call a timeout. That's their second of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 31. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. Now Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. It's up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17-10, UCF. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And off to the right. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 17-10, UCF. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome you back, everybody. Second, second half, half action ball. about to begin. He sends this one deep. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. He airs it out. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. 
That's not an easy play to make. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at about the 45. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. They come out in a five-wide set. He's going to try and scramble. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Central Florida is up by a touchdown. Tackle right around the 24-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, second and six. six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a game of 13. That, that makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Red two. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. That's good for a game of first down. First down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Go. Black five, black. Go. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Out of bounds around the seven yard line. That brings him second and goal. Central Florida is up a score. Green nine, green nine. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Just like they draw it up, Kurt. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they put up seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 24-10. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Caught, open field. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. First down, Graham. They'll bring him down at 
the 33. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He goes out of bounds around the 29-yard line. hit out of bounds around the 25 yard line so close but they fall short of the first down you got to throw the ball a little deeper next time don't take any chances of coming up short and that was a big stop defensively yeah they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive great job by the defense to shut them down The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Dead two. Blue 20. Go. Wide out makes the first down catch. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. They give to the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 45. Here's a handoff, left side. They bring him down in the backfield. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That makes it third and seven. One to go. The Knights lead it by two touchdowns. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Green nine, green go. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And down he goes right around the 50. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. First and 10, ball on the 50. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. 
And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Makes it out to about the 10. what we saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 50-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Central Florida, up seven points. Ready? Takes a hand on, tackled for a loss. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Throws it away. Flyers complete over the middle. That's a great tackle. The 33 yard line. One is a beauty. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Some time brought down at the 40 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He steps out at the 36. Loss of four on the play. Fourth down. He really got a hold of that one. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick throw, tackle at the 25. Texas Tech will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. 
He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Number nine, the intended receiver will play. That'll make it fourth and ten. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They'll get the ball with the change of possession on the punt, but time is starting to be a factor. Got to have their sights on the end zone right now. There's not enough time to be sure that they can get the ball back. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. He's at the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Knights! And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Now you're getting into pretty desperate time. You've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick. So the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. And he might want it all here and does. This one will fall incomplete. From the 26-yard line, second it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Big touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. on the extra point. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He makes his way to about the 28. The Red Raiders are going to call their second timeout. From the 28-yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Red Raiders, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. A 
the middle. Big play, and it's first and goal. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike Under seven. a minute left in the game. Red two, blue four, blue. Go. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike, Mike seven. And the ball game's over. The Knights get the win, 31-24. And the Texas Tech Red Raiders. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.